AI is pretty much talked about everywhere these days, and it's said that it's just a matter of time before it takes over the world. But if it's gonna do that, it's gonna have to beat Minecraft first. Uh oh. In this video, we're testing some of the craziest AI integrations with Minecraft, starting with an AI bot that can apparently beat the game. And we're off. Okay, so the AI has gone straight to the tree. All right, how is it gonna make way over this valley? That is. Is it gonna build a cross? Okay, okay. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god! What is it gonna go after in the village? The blacksmith? The hay bale? The bed? I mean, there's a lot to take. Oh, what? The wool? Okay, we're back at the village. What is it gonna do now? Are you gonna grab the items from the chest? Because that could be useful, you know? There could be like a golden apple in there. No? No, we're not gonna even open the chest? <laughs> a little suspicious that it knows exactly where the ores are. Oh. <laughs> How did you know there was water? Right? Oh my... Oh, that was scary. We're getting close. We're getting close. What's down there? I'm so curious. Diamonds. Oh, okay. While the AI bot is doing his thing, let me show you an AI that builds anything you ask in Minecraft. Build a house. 13 and a half seconds later, we have this. Uh... A for effort? Now let's go to the most reliable place for some build ideas. The comments. A functional 9x9 piston door. I have a bad feeling about this. 22 seconds and I see a bunch of redstone. <laughs> the AI is so smart. Just because I said redstone, he just sprinkled in a couple of redstone dust so that it counts on the credits. <laughs> Where are you going, bud? Where's this lever going? You know, I totally get this. You guys are just so stupid you can't catch on. I mean, this is clearly... A fantastic 9x9 piston redstone door. I mean, just look at this. Ta-da! I mean, that's the purpose of a door, for you to pass through a passage. I mean, come on. An indestructible prison for wandering traders. Now you're speaking my language. Smart, I see. Using some bedrock? Hey, we did say indestructible prison for wandering traders and- Oh, <laughs> he even got some iron bars. That's nice. Let me just add to the aesthetics here. Let's just pop in some wandering traders, these awful people. And look at that. They can never get out of here. Perf uh, oh, no, no. Uh, hey. Jeez. Edit, add a torture device. Nice, dude, the AI is smart. I don't know what the piston's here for, but lava was exactly what I was talking about. Get him, he was the one who tried to escape. Add more torture. You lucky, lucky man. Ah. Edit. Yep, that's the one. Anytime now, there we go. Bye-bye, you little awful person. I mean, if, he, if he stood here, he would have actually survived. Oh, the skeletons. The skeletons are really becoming a problem for the AI. It does not know what to do with it. Oh! Oh! No! It just died! First death! Okay, this is weird. The AI never stands still. Something's wrong. I did not think the AI was gonna die today. I guess we got there. So it seems like after the AI dies, it breaks. And the AI bot starts to die again, and again, and again, and again, oh, and again. You get the point. So it seems like we're just gonna have to do this in one go without dying. Oh, we got some lava over here. It's gonna make another portal here. This is gonna be interesting. Whoa! <laughs> Just give me a heart attack. I thought I was gonna just jump off for no reason and die. Looks like it's almost done. It should be done, actually. Voila. We are in the nether. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, blazes are coming in. Oh! Emoji! <laughs> no! No! You know what they say, lucky number three. Nobody says that, okay, let's just get to it. How about a cat riding a media or something silly like that? Lol. If I know this AI is gonna build a rock and then just spawn a cat on top of it, just watch. And, yo! <laughs> this is a cat? What even is this? Where's the eyes? Where's the cat? Where's the meteorite? I'm tilting my head to see if I can see it better, but I'm guessing this is the head, these are the arms, and this is the leg of the cat, and this is a meteorite. You know what? It's actually not horrible. Let's be honest, we've seen much worse. A fish. That's it. Way to be creative, Richard. Ta-da! Let's keep it simple. A village. Wow, this is supposed to be a micro village? <laughs> I'm starting to like the AI now. I mean, this is proper torture here. They can't even get out of their houses. You dummy. You don't even know how to use the door. You use the door. Oh, that's risky. Oh, oh no. What? 
What kind of stupid decision was that? Yeah, the AI is definitely gonna die here. This AI is dumber than a baby. What are you doing? Yep, there we go. And we're gone. Oh my god, it's actually happening. It only took 10 hours, but we're finally locating the end portal, which hopefully means we're getting out of the nether. I think it's having a little bit of trouble trying to find our nether portal. I have no idea where it is. Yes! 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 Th that's where you have to go. Nice. Just get out of that stupid dimension. <gasps> okay. The AI is actually really good at the MOG water bucket. Okay, we got a chance to look at his inventory at this moment. It looks pretty clean. Uh, isn't this just so much better for your heart? I mean, look at this. I'm just chilling. Just relax. Enjoying the scenery. No panicking over any Enderman lava or accidentally attacking some piglins. 2,600 blocks away. While the AI speedrunning bot is finding the stronghold, let's go check out the AI mobs in the meantime. What's three plus five? You're not from around here, are you? We don't do mats here. We just survive and have fun. So you tell me this kid is dumb? I know how to hunt and gather food, make shelter, and find water. That's all you need to know to live in the savannah. Why are you jumping on the bed? It's not a bed. It's a trampoline made out of animal skins. Whoa! Whoa! Don't say that in front of the cows. Uh, I hate to break it to you, kid, but I don't think your parents are ever coming back. Whoa! <laughs> the kid just grew up. He's a teenager now. Whoa! Whoa! Close your eyes! Oh, I'm such a terrible person, but hey, that's the truth, man. They're not coming back. Your parents are never coming back. He certainly got in hostile. I don't know who you are or where you come from, but I don't believe you. I have to go find my parents and make sure they're okay. <laughs> Please just leave me alone. <laughs> what have I done to this kid, man? What have I done? Okay, I'm sorry, man. Nobody talks to me like that. Hello there, human. Another magical creature, I see. Okay. Let's see what he thinks about vegans, huh? Well, as a cow, I'm not really in the position to have an opinion on human dietary choices. Okay. You think you're smart, huh? Well, let's see if you have an opinion now, you little twat. Let's see if you have an opinion now. <laughs> the cow is asking me to eat some plants. Hey, I thought you didn't have any opinions on human dietary choices, huh? Okay, so the cow's negotiating. Can we find a compromise instead? All right, all right. I'll let you off the hook this time. Said no one ever. Come here! Hey, I've always wanted to talk to a creeper. I understand that my kind is often feared and misunderstood, but I assure you, I, have n I mean you no harm. Perhaps we can have a civil conversation and dispel some of these negative stereotypes. Game mode survival. Hey, what's up? Let's have that civil conversation. Actually, I lied. I may know someone who is hated more. Oh, who might that be, you ask? Screw you! Oh, we actually found a stronghold. Okay, I think the AI's pathfinding is a little broken here. It's just staying huddled up in this little corner. It walks around the stronghold and then it just, yeah, it does that. It just comes back to this little stupid corner. So what I can do is I can actually help the AI a little bit. So I'm just gonna stop. And it's been an hour and a half. And once we got that done, I tried to turn the AI bot back on again. And it kept trying to get the ender pearls that it left behind or something like that. I, I don't know what was going on, but I had to do a lot of just turning the AI bot on, off, on, off. But in the end, we got there in the end. And the AI bot is finally in the end. In the final stages of beating the game. This has to be the one. Oh, I'm so nervous. All this work for this moment right here. Uh, it's waiting for the- don't look at the Enderman. Don't look at the Enderman. Didn't we just discuss this man? I'm nervous, but I trust the AI because if there's one thing it's proven, it's the fact that it knows how to MOG water bucket. Uh oh, what's it doing? Ah, uh, look at his health. Come on! Come on! Yes! Almost there! Just one more! Oh, dude, I think it's done. I, can I touch it now? Oh, it's just jumped in. And we're back where we set our spawn point. Okay, I've got in full control now. The AI has just stopped. It just says no task running. And we've pulled it off! It only took us 10 different seeds, but we have finally done it. 
So the AI beat the game in 1 hour and 45 minutes. That is actually not bad considering how much time it wasted doing absolutely nothing. But overall, the AI actually does pretty good considering the fact that you can use this AI on any random seed and it would try to beat the game. That's pretty good. I mean, it still needed my help to do it. I'm not going to take all the credit, but is it fair to say that I've actually beaten the game? You know, for once in my life, I, I, I have actually completed a speedrun. So technically, I did beat the game, but what are you also worried about? You think AI is going to destroy the world? I mean, it can't even beat Minecraft. <laughs>